Hey, it's day three. Um, just slept at the uh, Springer shelter and um, headed to the Hawk Mountain shelter. Uh, should be much easier than the approach yesterday. Uh, the topo looks like it's um, somewhat downhill. I mean, obviously there'll be uphills too, but it doesn't look near as bad. So yeah, so I'm starting the day. The night was went okay. I only got three hours sleep, so I'm a little bit sleep deprived over the last three days. But um, I'm uh, hanging in there and hopefully tonight, the fourth night, I will actually get some sleep. So, um, but I was actually hot in my tent last night. I think it got down to 42. It wasn't that bad out. The wind was whipping. It kind of sounded really cool. So yeah, so I'll check in a little bit down. The trail is quite rocky right now, so I won't be able to film, but um, I'll show you. <laughs> So I feel really at home with all of these rhododendrons. That is a New Jersey staple. So this part of the trail is gorgeous. And so far, compared to the approach, so much easier. <laughs> This is my first Ridge Runner. 
I'm Monarch, aka Tanya. Oh, that's an awesome Monarch. Yes, oh, that's Monarch, wonderful. Yes. I packed in 22, two years ago. Oh, very yeah. good. And now somehow I fooled them into paying me to be out here on trail. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. so glad to meet I, you. Yeah, thank you. I love my job. I love being out here, helping educate hikers on leave no trace policies and cleaning up the trail myself wonderful. and helping anyone who's sick or injured and just giving advice and talking about the hike. I love it. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. <laughs> so how many days are you out here? Uh, we're out here for four days at a time four and days. we're off for three some other ridge runners further up the trail have five days on and two days off and you camp too and right we camp. yeah you have to stay at the shelters um we keep track of uh trail usage numbers how many people are out here um day hikers section hikers through hikers dogs on and off trail things like that nice. how many people are camping at each shelter each night and you know so the you know we have the data to you know go about like making more campsites if we need to and you know putting in more privies or whatever the case may be yeah. so oh that's amazing yeah. oh i'm so glad yes. Oh, I, I videotaped it. <laughs> well, that's, 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 that's even real. better. I was trying to take a selfie, hey? <laughs> that's a right See the trees grow. They were here long before. They're keeping our stories. And when we're older, they will still stand tall. Like, I can't just do a bar right now. I gotta eat something. So, if you're like me, I do everything with a box fan. So, for the white noise. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, right? This area of the trail is so cruisy. Tomorrow, they said, would be a harder day. So, we'll, we'll do, I think, eight and a half miles somewhere in there today. And, um, yeah. That shelter is going to be crowded. I'm a little worried about that. But last night wasn't too bad. So we'll see. I know a lot of people started today. Okay, so I just stopped for lunch. And now we're getting punished with a thousand feet of elevation gain. But still, this whole day has been pretty cruisy, you know, compared to yesterday. So I'll take it. It's. I'll tell you what, Georgia maintains these trails so nice. It's absolutely glorious out here. We might never know. We'll be gone before it all begins. Send me your songs of tomorrow. I'm dying to know it all. Of joy and of sorrow, I'm dying to know it all. Send me your songs of tomorrow, I'm dying to know.